Welcome to the Jetway, I'm Dan Vollmeyer, and first off, in gang green related news, Broadway Joe called out Rex Ryan this week saying that he's instilled this sense of inflated ego among the team. Here's Rex's response. He's on the outside, he's not in these meetings. I think if he was, he'd be shocked at the preparation. He's not in these meetings. Was he'd be shot? He'd be shot? He'd be shot? He'd be shot? Did Rex just say if Namath shows up at their meeting, he'll be shot? He'd be shot? He'd be shot? He'd be shot with the preparation. Oh, Rex said shocked. Okay, well, if you really want to see shocked, you get Namath in front of a mirror and let him see how high he wears his pants in public, because those things are pulled up sky high. All right, that's enough. Let's start the show. Number five, Plax gets his second TD of the year via the exact same play he scored with against Dallas. Only difference here was with the celebration after the play, where instead of spreading his arms and legs and showing what security makes him now do about a thousand times before entering a New York nightclub, Plax instead acts like he just delivered a stellar performance of Fiddler on the Roof and bows to his fans. Encore. Encore. The catch is made! Number four, Jeremy Curley reels in the punt, avoids two tacklers, but loses his helmet. Now, Curley surely will continue the play. Yes, he does, and actually delivers a blow with his little rookie noggin. That could have been scrambled eggs all over the field. Jeremy Curley using his head on the play, but not really. Number three, Jet DB Antonio Cromartie spent most of the game pulling a Big Ben Roethlisberger, only Cromart was illegally handling receivers on the field instead of drunk blondes on the bar. Uh, anyway, Cromart also showed us, before kick returns, he likes to get all Bill and Ted on us with something he calls his Cromartie Air Guitari. I believe the music he heard in his head against Jacksonville was this. I'm the man, yes, shorty, I'm the man. I'm so fly, it's no telling when I'ma land. Trying to come up on something, mommy, I'm the plan. So play the cards you was dealt, baby, I'm the hand. While against Oakland, he was hearing this. Number two is kind of amazing. So in the third quarter, Jim Nance starts talking about Raider quarterback Jason Campbell's foot. Again, his foot. And just like that, the guys in the TV truck immediately kick it to a shot of perverted foot connoisseur Rex Ryan. Take a look. And Campbell, by the way, we haven't really talked a lot about it, but he wore tennis shoes practicing the last couple of days, uh, yes. Phil, with some foot issues. So, uh, yes. Phil, with some foot issues. So, foot issues, foot issues, foot issues, foot, 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 and foot issues. So, Rex Ryan, what do you think of how CBS Sports played you here? Actually, my wife watched it and. You know, it was crazy. I went down and I said, this this is unbelievable. I mean, you talk about entertainment. Okay, clearly you're the one with the... Foot issues. And number one, Jets dial up the naked bootleg and Sanchez gets the six. What a way to score, especially while the Mexican-American Mark Sanchez and the NFL celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Here you see Sanchez sneak across the goal line, just like how Sanchez's grandfather, 70 years earlier, snuck across a borderline. What a way to score, even the Raider Luis Lucha Libre fan loves it. What a nice job by Sanchez. And that's the show. But first, we got to leave you with this. The Buffalo Bills are 3 0 after shocking the Patriots. Great, but did these two fellas have to celebrate the shocker by giving each other a shocker? What were these guys doing to each other? Save it for the locker room. All right, that's the show. Follow us on Twitter. Peace. <laughs>